Just took an awesome little time lapse of clouds going by here. Really a uh, beautiful day with these clouds moving by. Sun, clouds, sun clouds. Love these kind of days. Anyway, it's Monday and I think it's kind of a down day today. group came, a church group came, and I, I figured out that I knew the pastor from the church, uh, church from Rovna, talked to them a little bit, and I'm going to see if I can get Mishael, we'll go for a little bike ride up one of these hills over here, maybe I can take the GoPro and stick it on the bike, we'll see. Michelle and I are heading up this mountain hill and it is rocky and hard going but when I get to the top because I think it's gonna be a pretty awesome ride down so might have to walk a bit of the way though because it's it is really steep. Give her a shot. We're getting some pretty awesome scenery up here already although we still have quite a climb to go but over there so straight behind me is that was the hike that we went on uh, last week. I'll put a link to it up here in the video. That was a really cool hike. Anyway, that's Karinta, and on the other side of that, they have cows, they make cheese. Really cool place. And then if you look further to those mountains over there, that is, you can see just see Papivan, the point of it. It's the second tallest mountain in Ukraine. And right behind me there is. Um, um, Kastrisha. I think it's called Kastrisha. And uh, it's all, it's about 1500 meters high. They also do cheese up there on that mountain. So we've got a ways to go. Keep going here, but just love the, the green, the greenness. All these fields. Here's a hayfield right here that hasn't been cut yet. A number of, some, a lot of the hayfields have already been cut. A lot of them haven't. So, and we're actually staying right behind this hill right here. That's, that's where our place is. And if you look down in that valley there, that is about, how many kilometers is it? I don't know, seven or eight kilometers down there is the town of Yachavina. But we're actually, where we are, is a village called Ilci. And then a little bit further is, is another village, can't remember the name of it. And down in the valley is the Chirimosh River. All right, time to go. Finally made it to the top of this mountain. Of course, we walked most of the way. What do you think, Mish? It's pretty. Pretty intense. good climb. Now we get the good part to go down. It's a valley down there. Mountains and mountains. Lots of grass here, grazing grazing pasture for the cows. Saw a lot of cows on the way up. Saw one. Saw that one uh, cart. Well, man, they kind of got upset of us at us because we were um, going in the feet in the grass because they want to save the grass for the hay. So we apologized and got back on the road. It's just that the road is a lot bumpier and harder than it was at that point, uh, kind of riding through the field. So there is a an old house up here. I don't know if anyone's in there. It looks maybe abandoned. Take a look. So there is this old house up here. I want to just check it out. I don't. It looks like it has electricity to it, but I don't see anybody around here. So we'll go see if see if anyone is here. Grass looks pretty thick. Добрый день.
Yeah, the door's locked. You got a pretty good lock on it. But it looks like, and it looks like it gets, it does look like it gets used. Cause I see, it looks like electricity coming up to it there. But they, they do a pretty good view up here, that's for sure. No cars drive up here, that's also for sure. Little, oh yeah, see? There's a light bulb, and it's a good light bulb. So, looks like it gets used somehow, but I don't know. Owners are not here right now. I was hoping that somebody would be here, we'd get a little bit of water, because we just finished off the last of our water. But I guess no water. Look at that. Michelle, check it out. It's a it's a sleigh. That's what they use in the winter. Well, that one doesn't look like it's been used. Here's a, this is another sleigh right here. That one looks like maybe it does still get used. This one needs a little bit of repair. But that's that's what they use to get around up and down these hills with the horses in the winter. Is those old wooden wooden sleighs. So Back to the bikes, down the hill. We are very thirsty and hungry. Dinner's supposed to be at seven. I think it's already at least six o'clock. So I'll show you one other thing, these hay stacks. I really like how they stack the hay here. So those hay stacks, that's how they stack. They have a big pole and then they just throw the hay around the, around the pole up there like that. Oh, hey, look at that. They have a cell phone tower up here. I've never seen a cell phone tower like that. I didn't even notice that coming up. But anyway, they stack the hay like that and that's how they store it for the winter. And I don't know, it just sits there for the winter. So you see, you see those kind of haystacks all over the place here. Yeah. Scared that cow. That cow's coming too. Come on, Mish, beat the cow. What? Beat the cow. It's not a cow, it's a bull. A young bull. Get out of here. This is where some here serious downhill is gonna start. And I'm not sure how good the camera and footage will be because the bike doesn't have shocks, it's gonna be really shaky. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today. <clears throat> One thing I do want to say is that uh, obviously this isn't kind of like our normal life. We're on vacation right now, but one of the things that uh, is important to me and that we try to do while we're on vacation, of course, just spend time with the family, with the kids, but also to be able to do some Bible reading and devotion with, with the kids, with the family. And so we try to do that um, twice a day. Uh, in the mornings, we don't do it really early in the morning because try as much as possible, let the kids sleep in, get as much rest as possible, but somewhere mid-morning or late morning or noon. And then in the evenings, uh, so we do like a Bible reading, um, usually like by plan or something like that. And then in the evenings, uh, we read a proverb. And it's really been good going through the proverbs 
So we do the proverb for whatever day of the month it is. So today is the 22nd, so we read Proverbs 22 today. Talked a lot about not being lazy, talked about um, being generous. And as we read through, I try and just, just stop a lot and just talk about, you know, hey, have you seen this? How have you seen this? Have you seen it, you know, in the lives of your friends or maybe in our family? And so we talk a lot as we as we read through those verses, and it's it's just really good. And then and then we spend a little time in prayer after that. But <clears throat> definitely, I think that one of the one of the real benefits of doing something like this is being able to spend that time with your family. That I mean, on a regular basis, I do try to do family Bible reading. Um, in the evenings, we'll we'll usually read um, a little bit and, and pray together. But uh, I can do that a lot more while we're here, and, and so it's just a, a way that we try to use our time uh, so that we can be refreshed spiritually, physically, and um, in every way possible. Because we know when we get back there, Satan is after us, and uh, even on vacation he's after us sometimes. And so it's a constant battle. But my encouragement is to you fathers and parents, don't give up make sure you are inputting spiritually into your kids lives bible reading prayer and of course just daily being an example and living it out and talking with them about it on a very very regular basis um, it's it just has to be done all right guys that's it for today